Hey, what's up everyone? My name's John and welcome to my sailboat refit. In the last video, I laid fiberglass on the hull around the keel to add strength to that. And in this video, I'm going to start cutting out the foam coring and gluing that in place with epoxy. Then I can put the liner and fiberglass flooring back in. So let's get started. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this, uh, this is uh, Owens Corning foam that you can buy at Home Depot. And it's closed cell, so um, it's not going to absorb water. It has plastic coating on each side of it. And I've already peeled the, the plastic coating off of the back of it. But what I'm going to do is put this in here and then fill up these areas with, uh, with, with thickened epoxy. I don't, I don't want to pull this out because I, I want to leave as much as that as possible. So anyway, I'm just putting one piece here and there'll be a small piece here and then a little strip right through here is all that'll be in there, a little strip. So I'm going to shape this and uh, glue it to the hull with thickened epoxy and then I'll put the original flooring back over it and seal all that up um, and then start putting the liner back. All right, so I'm, uh, I've got some uh, West Systems here and uh, 205, uh, the slow hardener 206. And then I've got the uh, fire, uh, microfiber adhesive filler 403. It's pretty thick stuff. So uh, I'm using that to glue this down and to uh, fill in all the gaps. right here I'm gonna glue right here and I'll trim out for the uh, for the kill area uh, what I did is I removed the plastic on this side and I cut strips in it you can see that you can see the strips I cut in it so that it would uh, would contour to the hull of the boat. And I left the plastic on this side to kind of keep it all together. And after it's glued in, I'll remove that. And then I'll, I'll sand all this down uh, to, the, to the shape that I want, uh, that I want it to be. And then I will uh, fare over it and then put uh, the fiberglass back over it. to sand it so I can put the fiberglass back in. And I'll fill this crack up, fill this crack up with the uh, structural putty and to fill in all these voids. And then I'll put the original flooring back on top of this. 
sand all this and uh, fill this in fill this in right here and make this off smooth all this off sand it and smooth all this so that um, I can put uh, I can paint that and then there, there'll be a board that sits over this you see that nib right there and the original flooring has that on it it runs all the way around and back over and there's a board that sits in here a teak and holly board that sits right there over the over the keel so next i'll add that filler in smooth all this off add filler around here around the keel area and then sand all this and then put the the original flooring back in see the the compression post i've already put that in you got that glued i uh, use biscuits i put biscuits in between the joint all the way around and then uh bedded that solid on the uh, on the hull there to make that very solid and secure for the compression post. All right, so I'm going to use uh, the Bondo uh, glass. It has fiberglass mixed in with it. It's more of a uh, fiberglass resin than it is Bondo. But I'm going to use this to uh, fill in these voids through here and uh, so that I can float that better and there won't be any voids there before I put the fiberglass back on. So I, I've got thickened epoxy, West Systems epoxy, and I put it inside this uh, caulking tube and I'm applying it around uh, the cracks here to fill that in. It's just, it's just uh, epoxy and filler. the uh, foam down I've got I've got the cracks filled I've got the voids filled I'm getting ready to sand this and um, you can see I've got everything filled all the cracks filled with thickened epoxy and then I've got um, filler put in these areas heavy um, fiberglass filler and uh, I'm getting ready to sand all of this and then I will lay the original I'm, I, my plan is to lay the original floor back down I've got to uh, clean the bottoms of it up and get it ready but um, I'll show you what it, it's going to look like so uh, let's put all this back I'll have to do quite a bit of work to get this back in here, but I think this is what I'm going to do instead of putting new fiberglass in. I'll do it like that. And uh, it won't be easy, but um, I'll prepare the backs of these and then glue them back down. And uh, I'll have to add fiberglass right here. And of course, put fiberglass around this area here when I finish the, the kill area. And um, 
then I'll be able to put the put the benches back or the settees back. And um, but anyway, that's all the time I had for this video. Um, so next week I'll start sanding the the foam there and getting these ready and put these down. Should be able to get these down and some of the, if not all of the settees back in place. So anyway, I'll see you next week. Thanks.